From my point of view, the Sand Hills Project was we're charged with breaching a lane and clearing a lane, utilizing a hands-free method of just robots. Whether that we're looking on a screen, uh, interrogating obstacles, picking things up with a robot arm, or utilizing a robot vehicle to successfully deploy a line charge to destroy a minefield. These two vehicles that you see behind me have been used for infantry squads. Basically, what they would do is they would put all their rucks, their ammunition, and their explosives on those vehicles to tow behind them. Autonomy is becoming key in warfare. It really hasn't been thought of using anything for, hey, let's strap an explosive to it and see what happens. So we got together with uh, Erdic Engineering Development Research Center to see how we can adapt these vehicles to our certain needs. Building relationships with partners is a key thing, especially when we're treading on new ground. We have these two vehicles, we have all these vehicles that yeah, we can operate them, but when they break down, there's no 10 level man. We're dealing a lot with mind games, trying to get these robots working and training like that, but we're not over here slamming our bodies in the dirt. So we're able to continue working on these through the night, while if we were doing physical missions, we'd be exhausted and we wouldn't be able to do anything else. I see new innovations coming along. Autonomy is becoming key in warfare.